Uh, here we are in uh, Unit 17, and what we found was a modified flake. And what a modified flake is, as opposed to a biface, where the creator will take a piece of uh, either obsidian or usually in the case here, chert, and purposefully pressure flake it into a specific tool, like a, a spear point or some other projectile. Uh, with a modified flake, instead of taking a, a solid piece and forming it into a tool, he'll take one of the pieces that was knocked off when forming a tool, and then without modifying it any further, use it uh, to scrape off of, uh, fur off of leather or any other task. And by using it, you'll cause pressure flaking on an edge. And on this one, on this specific flat edge here, we have some of that use wear, uh, which caused pressure, pressure flaking on the lake. It's pretty cool fun. It's day one, and we are in lithostratigraphic unit five, and we have just started to trowel through our unit, and we just found this partial biface. So you can see the serration along the sides on this side as well as this side, and a clean break right here and here, uh, which uh, signify that it was part of a larger biface. So. Uh... We're here in Area B, and we just uncovered what looks to be some kind of um, ungulate jaw. But it's really neat because it's surprisingly complete. We have the entire row of teeth here, and uh, the entire jawbone is basically there. It's not broken at all. Um, yeah, this is a really cool find, and it'll definitely uh, help us to learn about what kind of animals we live in this region. Uh, during this time. Uh, so today, while we were troweling, we uncovered this piece here, and it's a basalt uniface. Uh, we think it might have possibly been used as a scraper, and we found it in situ here. We're about to take a photograph of it. It's really exciting. <laughs>